Listen to the experts, and the world is on the verge of the most radical transformation in energy and transport ever witnessed. Who writes this stuff? What does that mean? <laughs> what it means is that by 2030, which is only about 15 years away, yeah, 15 years away, uh, some say petrol, gas, coal, and nuclear gone. Mm -hmm. Here's Tristram Clayton with a likely replacement. In the summer. Across the country, the desire for solar power systems has gone ballistic. When we started off, we had uh, 12 panels on the roof. There's, uh, there's 20 panels, 10 on the, on the back side and 10 on the front side. There are now three times as many houses with solar than there were just 18 months ago. And how's it been working for you? It's absolutely fantastic. Recently, we put another 10 panels. Jan Wright says the power bill for her rural property has dropped from around $600 a month to $200. We are producing nearly all the power that we need now on a sunny day. That's a saving of almost $5,000 a year. It means the entire 22-panel system will be paid off in just five years. Power in the future will definitely go up and hopefully that will, will um, be a much better option for us. Further north in rural Naruawaia, Paul Gilling has also seen the benefits of his high-tech solar panels. Pretty excited uh, about the, the fact that we've got this system in, um, the fact that over winter we've, we have seen some gains in terms of what, what, we've, what we've saved. Paul says his power bill has fallen from more than $350 a month to less than $200, meaning he'll pay for his panels in around 10 years. And that's hitting the traditional power generators. Both Contact and Meridian Energy have dramatically cut the price they pay for electricity fed back into the grid. In America, the solution to low buyback prices has focused on batteries. The issue with existing batteries is that they suck. But here in New Zealand, there's another solution. This is the main, main control system. It's called the Power Boss, and it was designed by Hamilton engineer Ben Stanton to solve the problem of low-value surplus electricity. So this is an extra system over and above just having the solar panels? Absolutely, yeah, because if you have solar panels, they're just they're dumb, basically. They, they just produce power, full noise. They don't care where it goes in the home. If it's not being used at the time, it gets exported to the grid. The system uses a sophisticated algorithm to control the power flow through a house or business. You don't know when the sun's up and down and, and clouds are coming past, but our system knows that it needs to run the dishwasher, for instance, or the washing machine. And so at the right time of day, it will turn those appliances on and you'll be you'll come home and everything's done. For homeowners, that means even smaller power bills. I love the fact that it, it was taking that power and it was using it where I wanted it in the home before it was actually sending it back to the grid. This screen here shows the power for the day. Of the 22 kilowatts you've used today to this moment, yes. you've produced by the solar panels 18 kilowatts of it. That's right. For Ben Stanton, the future for his globally patented invention is as bright as the source of his energy. Everyone in the world saying, hey, this is cool. We want it because there's nothing else like it. So it's pretty exciting, yeah, really exciting. On Friday, Duncan did a show, a radio show based entirely on solar power. Did yeah, you guys really cool. have a blackout? No, not at all. And and because we had stored some of the energy from the from earlier in the week when it was sunny, it was really grey, and we continued no problems. Smart the thing thinking. is, this is the question: How many New Zealanders are on solar? Think about Kaikoura, the town in the South Island. That's about the size of the solar community in New Zealand. It's not a lot. No, it's not. I spoke to some people recently. They've been on solar for 31 years since 19. 84, they have never had a power bill. Fantastic. Are they selling it back it? to the grid? No, That's they're just holding it for themselves. You can cash in on it.